In this video, we will try to solve your question that was asked by a brother on Telegram channel of Econ Methods. The question is on constraint node optimization. The question is like this. A firm wants to minimize the cost of producing 400 units of output given the wage is $180 and price of capital is $20. Output is produced according to Cobb Douglas production function Q is equal to K to the power 1 upon 2 into L to the power 1 upon 2. Find the minimum cost that will produce the given output and the optimal units of labor and capital. Okay, so we have a firm he wants to minimize cost. That means this is the cost minimization problem. Okay, what we are being given, let me write it here. We are being given that quantity to be produced. That means Q is equal to 400. Okay, we want to produce 400 units of output. Okay. And uh, the pay wages is $180. That means price of labor. What we call the wage here. That is $180. Also, price of capital is uh, $20. So, price of capital. Let us write it here. Like this. P subscript K denotes price of capital is $20. Also, we are being told our production function is being given by a Cobb Douglas. That means our Q is also equal to K to the power 1 upon 2. L to the power 1 upon 2 okay we need to find minimum cost that will produce given output and optimal units of labor and capital okay so how do we solve this that means this is the cost minimization problem that means we want to minimize okay let me write it here we want to minimize our cost okay C is equal to so what is cost cost is simply price of labor into units of labor okay plus price of capital uh, that is price of capital into units of capital okay we want to minimize this very thing okay uh, our budget constraint will be our production constraint that means we want to produce that is uh, we want to produce uh, k to the power 1 upon 2 l to the power 1 upon 2 should be equal to 400 units okay I hope I am making myself clear. We want to minimize our cost. That means uh, price of labor times units of labor employed plus price of capital into units of capital employed subject to the production co pro production quota here. That means our production quota is defined by this very function here. Okay. So uh, in the case of, uh, you know, uh, maximization problem, we would have and utility function subject to the budget constraint there is the inverse okay so we have to minimize this time our budget subject to the fixed utility here if you want to compare it with maximization okay so simple thing what we do in these cases first we need to find out uh, you know languages we want to form the languages function okay how do we form the languages function first we solve this production quota okay so I can write this production quota. If I rewrite this, I can write it like this 400 minus k to the power 1 upon 2 l to the power 1 upon 2. Okay. First step is set it equal to 0. Okay. After that, I will multiply it by lambda. Simple. Okay. I have just uh, manipulated this production quota. First, I set it equal to 0 and then I multiplied it by lambda. Then I can form the languages multiplier. Okay. So let me write l here okay so uh, language multiplier is simply equal to our objective function what is our objective function this okay uh, let me write it here uh, again i have not explicit explicitly uh, written here uh, so mm, mm, price of labor is 180 let me write it here we this is 180 l uh, plus price of capital is 20k okay so this is our we want to minimize uh, this c is equal to 180 l plus 20k so to form the languages function we just add our objective function and uh, the resulting constraint okay so we have 180 l plus 20k and we add this resulting constraint that means plus uh, lambda 400 minus k to the power 1 upon 2 l to the power 1 upon 2 okay now to find the optimal values of labor and capital what we do we just take the partial derivative of this languages function with respect to labor capital and lambda and set them equal to zero simultaneously okay so to find <coughs> sorry to find uh, the optimal values 
first i will take uh, uh, you know i will take uh, the partial derivative with respect to l here okay so derivative of l is 1 we are left with 180 here so no l is involved derivative is 0 here the derivative of l will be this 1 upon 2 uh, obviously it is minus so let me write here minus 1 upon 2 okay we have uh, k to the power 1 upon 2 l to the power minus 1 upon 2 into lambda okay derivative of constant is 0 so i have just uh, solved some or uh, saved some steps here okay so we set it equal to 0 similarly l subscript k means partial derivative of this function with respect to k no k is involved derivative is 0 here the derivative of k is 1 we are left with 20 same process here okay so lambda into 400 will be obviously its derivative will be 0 because we are partially differentiating with respect to k okay so <clears throat> now uh, taking partial derivative with respect to k let me write this first uh, this minus here okay so we have uh, this 1 upon 2 will become coefficient we have k to the power um, 1 upon 2 minus 1 is minus 1 upon 2 okay by power function rule okay simple stuff uh, if we have l to the power 1 upon 2 its derivative is simply this 1 upon 2 becomes coefficient we have l 1 upon 2 minus 1 okay so this is 1 upon 2 l if we subtract 1 from 1 upon 2 we will get minus 1 upon 2 okay so don't get confused if i am just skipping some steps here okay so we have again our l to the power 1 upon 2 okay then we have uh, um, l of lambda so partially differentiating this function with respect to lambda this time no lambda is involved in the first two terms therefore their derivative will be cos number c sorry <coughs> uh, their derivative is obviously zero so we are left with derivative of lambda is one so we are left with 400 minus k to the power one upon two l to the power one upon two okay so <coughs> since we are taking derivative partially with respect to lambda no lambda was involved in first term second term derivative of lambda is one so we are left with this very stuff okay <clears throat> now let us solve these this is equal to zero this is equal to zero let us solve these equations let us say this is equation one this is equation second if i divide equation one with equation second what i will get so we will get i can write it like this 180 upon 20 okay so i have just uh, skipped one step so if this is equal to zero if i want to transpose this here this will become positive so this will become like this okay so this is we have one upon two k to the power one upon two l to the power minus one upon two lambda whole divided by one upon two k to the power minus one upon two l to the power one upon two lambda okay so i have just rewritten it here so if i just transpose this here so rhs so this will become positive here so this gets cancelled lambda gets cancelled and here uh, two uh, two nines are so nine upon one so what we are being left with here so we have nine upon one is equal to so k to the power one upon two if i transpose this uh, k to the power minus one upon two it will get multiplied to this term okay so this will if we have k to the power one upon two k to the power minus one upon two i can write it like this k to the power one upon two transposing this it will remain same it will get multiplied but the exponent sign will change if it is minus one upon two it will become plus one upon two now we have same terms basis are same we can add the exponents we have one upon two so this becomes uh, 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 is 1 okay so here i will get if i transpose this here so this will become k okay because 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 is 1 similarly if i transpose this here it is minus it will become plus so i will get l by the same logic here okay which gives us k is equal to 9 l okay i got k is equal to 9l now just plug this value here okay if k is equal to 9l that means if uh, i write it like this so i can write it like this under root of kl okay kl is equal to 400 no problem 
okay so just plug k is equal to 9l here so we have in place of k we have 9l so i have k is 9l and the value of l is l here okay so l should be equal to 400 okay you can write it like this but uh, to make it um, something uh, beautiful i have just uh, used this very notation here okay so we have 9l square under root is equal to 400 i can write it like this 3 square l square okay you guys cancel it guys cancel we are left with 400 so 3l is equal to 400 implies l is equal to 400 upon 3 so this is the optimal value of labor i guess i hope i am making the calculation right okay so just plug l is equal to in this l is equal to 400 upon 3 here okay or just plug here to save the time here so we have k is equal to 9 the value of l i got here 400 upon 3 3 ones are 3 threes are so 3 fours are 12 so we have 12 100 okay so the optimal value of k is equal to 1200 so optimal value of capital is 1200 optimal value of uh, labor is 400 now to find the minimum cost just plug the value of uh, capital price of capital price of labor into the objective function that means our cost will be equal to um, we have 180 l is we got here 400 upon 3 um, plus 20 the value of k i got 1200 okay so yes guys i'm yes guys three ones are three six is that okay so we have ah is it a three zero one and ah is it a three zero six four that 24 so 24 thousand plus ah is it a three ah is it a three two twelve are 24 okay so i hope I'm making the calculation right of the three so four four plus four is eight two plus two is four so the minimum cost so our minimum cost will be forty eight thousand and our optimal value of labor will be four hundred upon three and the optimal value of capital will be twelve hundred okay I hope I make myself clear okay so just repeat I'm just uh, trying to recapitulate what I have done we were uh, being told to minimize the cost of producing 400 units of output so this was a cost minimizing problem so we need to produce let us say QO denotes the quantity to be produced so Q is equal to 400 okay we are being also told the price of labor what we call the wage rate is 180 dollars and price of capital is 20 dollars okay and we were told that this um, firm is uh, producing according to this cobb douglas production function that means q is equal to k to the power one upon two l to the power one upon two it is actually like this k is equal to under root k l okay so q is equal to this either you write it this way or this way it's your way or my way okay so we have to minimize our cost that means uh, wage rate into units of labor plus uh, price of capital into units of capital we want to minimize this stuff okay subject to the production quota so our what is production quota we need to produce 400 units according to this uh, production function okay so but then we use the languages multiplier method okay so by language multiplier method what we need to we need to first to find out the languages function okay to find the languages function we just manipulated this uh, uh, constraint here so first uh, i set this constraint equal to zero then multiplied it with lambda so this is our constraint then i added this constraint uh, with our objective function this was our objective function uh, this is our resulting constraint when i add these two functions i get the languages function to find the optimal values of labor capital and lambda what we do we just partially differentiate this languages function with respect to labor capital and lambda set them equal to zero simultaneously and solve and find the values of capital labor and lambda okay so lambda was not in uh, our choice variable in this question so we don't we didn't solve that okay so after that we got the optimal value of labor is 400 upon 3 
and uh, capital is 1200 okay to find the cost just plug these optimal values into the cost function that is our objective function to get the cost okay i hope i make myself clear thank you